Good morning, West Monroe. It is finally Friday. It's time to get your chicken biscuit money to Miss Wyatt, and it's celebration day for our Teacher of the Year. All this and more today on KREB, so stay tuned. Good Friday morning, West Monroe. I'm Sarah. And I'm Amelia. And we have your morning announcements. We want to start things off with the congratulations to the West Monroe High School Teacher of the Year, Ms. Liz Sanderson. Faculty and staff, don't forget that you are honoring her today during lunch in the library. Congratulations, Mrs. Sanderson. Attention, students that met with Ms. Kathy Young and Ms. Tanya Epperson regarding LDCC VOTEC for the 2013-2014 school year, there will be a representative in room 6203B, which is Ms. Young's office, Wednesday, April 10th from 1.30 to 3 o'clock. There will be only one day for official pre-registration, so please come to receive information and instructions. Do not come before that day and there will, be, there will not be an extended deadline for sign up. If you miss the meeting that was held prior to spring break, this will be your one time to sign up. Also, there will be attendance and transportation discussions and contracts to be signed. Remember, this meeting is Wednesday from 1.30 to, to 3.30 in room 6203B. Attention first hour students and teachers. This is the last day to turn in your money for the chicken for the Chicken Biscuit Relay for Life fundraiser. If you haven't already sent your money and paperwork to Mrs. Wyatt, please do so. Her room number is 3201, which is upstairs in the science wing. For those unable to attend the dual enrollment meeting last night, the dual enrollment information is available to be picked up in guidance. Parents must sign up for this information. Juniors, if you wish to participate in the ring ceremony, please come by Ms. Rutledge's room room number 4109 or Ms. Mr. Lewis's room number 3105 to sign up. You may participate if you did not order your ring from the graduate shop, but you still must sign up. In addition, you must bring your ring to us the day of the ceremony, which is Thursday, April 18th, before 8 a.m. When you sign up, make sure that you include the senior who is going to give you your ring. If you wish to participate and do not know a senior to give you your ring, one of the class officers will do, will do so. We will rehearse for the ring ceremony at 8 o'clock on the morning of the ceremony. The deadline to sign up is Wednesday, April 10th. There will be a pharmacy tech meeting for all students who are juniors and are interested in taking this class during their senior year. Please bring a parent or guardian with you. The meeting will be held April 9th at 6.30 in the library. The Monroe Washita Grambling University Alumni Association will host its annual Entrance Information Seminar and Scholarship Musical on Saturday, April 13, 2013. All high school students and their parents are urged to attend and receive very valuable information. ULM is hosting African American Heritage Week, April 8th through the 12th at Strassis Hall. This is a student-initiated week sponsored by the College of Education Cultural Connection in partnership with the Northeast Louisiana Delta African American Heritage Museum. It will fe feature poetry, art, dance, and museum exhibits. That's awesome. The Southern University Beginning Agriculture Youth Opportunities Unlimited or Bayou program is now in application period. Applications are open for juniors and seniors with at least a 2.5 GPA and the deadline to submit is April 19th. Check with guidance for more information. Art Club members and friends who would like to walk in the Relay for Life, please sign up in Ms. Ganley's room beginning on Monday. We will walk as a group from 6 to 7 p.m. on Friday night. Wear your Relay for Life t-shirt. If you do not have one, wear your Art Club t-shirt. Come out and support Relay for Life. And Ms. Ganley is in room 1109. Seniors, it is time to make a slideshow for Awards Day. Please send any pictures of high school memories to KREB2011 at yahoo.com. We want it to feature all seniors, so be sure to get in your pictures soon. The deadline to submit pictures is April 15th. Also seniors, local schools are willing to invest in our seniors who attended their there as elementary students. The Career Coaches has scholarships from George Welch and Claiborne Elementary schools as well as from Good Hope Middle School. 
And so if you want to earn extra money for college, be sure to go see Guidance and the Career Codes to see if you meet any qualifications for those scholarships. Go Colonels. <laughs> any senior who has an idea for a senior t-shirt needs to see Miss Hunt or Miss Barron as soon as possible. Sophomore class, you too have an opportunity to, to submit a t-shirt design to be voted on by the sophomore class. The design must feature the class Tea Party theme, which stands for Tested Enough Already. Designs are due today. For more info, contact Miss Crew or Miss Counts. Okay, Rebels, it's Grease Trivia time. Here is today's question. What is the name of the high school that Danny and Sandy attend? Again, the question is, what is the name of the high school that Danny and Sandy attend? Get your answers together and head over to Miss Lori Ware's room in the upstairs, in the upstairs of the sixth wing. Any girls interested in trying out for next year's Lady Rebel soccer team needs to go by and sign up with Coach Barron in room 5203. Trouts will be coming up this month, so go by and see Coach Barron for more information. There will be a swim meeting, a swim team meeting Tuesday, April 9th at 5.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. This is a meeting for all of the swimmers and parents. Please make sure that you make every effort to attend this meeting. And if you cannot attend this meeting, please call Coach Fallbacher and let him know. The Rebel baseball team continues their three-game series against the Rustin Bearcats tonight at home at 6 p.m. Come out to the left deck to support. Last night, the Rebels played a hard-fought game, but came up a little short with a score of 11-9. With a little student support, they could jump ahead in this series, so come on out and support them. Also, the final game of the series is tomorrow at Ruston at 1 p.m., so don't miss out. Good luck, guys. The Lady Rebels softball team will play at home today against Sulphur at 5.30 and at home on Saturday at 11 a.m. against Nacogdoches Central. Come out and support and show support for these ladies. This afternoon, West Monroe High School is hosting the Jack Williams Relays here in Rebel Stadium. Schools from all over will be here competing in track and field events. Come on out here in Rebel Stadium and show your support. Yes, good luck to all of those that are participating. Yep, well, that's all we have for you. So that's it. Have a great weekend, West Monroe. Happy Friday.